Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics in Tamil. This is lecture number 3.11, Problems in the Second Law of Thermodynamics, Part 5. This is the third lecture of Thermodynamics Problem, Anionistic Question Paper, the Second Law of Thermodynamics Problem, Heat Engine, Refrigerator heat pump. La. Now, this is the lecture number, part number 5. The learning outcome to the lecture. At the end of the lecture, student will be able to solve problem in second law of thermodynamics. So, example number 13. In the question on the November, May 2019 question paper. A Carnot heat engine draws heat from a reservoir at temperature 600 Kelvin and reject heat to another reservoir at temperature T3. So, heat engine. T3 is the temperature heat rejection, T1 is the temperature 600 Kelvin. The Carnot forward cycle engine drives a Carnot refrigerator which absorbs heat from a reservoir at 300 Kelvin and reject heat to a reservoir at T3. So, this is the refrigerator, the heat engine is driving the refrigerator. So, it takes heat from the T2 temperature, Q2 amount of heat energy. Determine Temperature T3 such that heat supplied to the engine is equal to heat absorbed by the refrigerator. And the efficiency of the Carnot engine and COP of the refrigerator. So, first we have to write down the given data. So, heat engine, in the heat engine, the Q1 amount of heat energy. Q1 amount of heat energy from temperature 600 degrees Celsius and reject Q3 amount of heat energy to temperature T3. The heat engine is driving the refrigerator. In the refrigerator, Q2 amount of heat energy from temperature 300 Kelvin and reject Q4 amount of heat energy which is T4. So, the render temperature, heat engine reject pandra sink temperature, refrigerator reject pandra temperature equal T3 equal to T4 and the product of condition in kataka Q1 equal to Q2. Amount of heat given to the heat engine is equal to amount of heat extracted by the refrigerator. So, efficiency of the heat engine eta equal to 1 minus T3 divided by T1. So, 1 minus T3 minus T1 minus T3, T1 minus T3 divided by T1, which is W by Q1. So, in the equation, in the W equal to T1 minus T3 divided by T1 into Q1. So, work done equal to T1 minus T3 divided by T1 into Q1. Now, COP of the refrigerator, T2 minus T2 by T4 minus T2. I am going to T4 equal to T3 in the product. So, T2 by T3 minus T2 equal to Q2 by W. Now, COP equal to the W value on the from the previous equation we have to substitute. COP equal to Q2 divided by T1 minus T3 divided by T1 into Q1. So, this is Q2 by Q1 into T1 by T1 minus T3. So, in the render equation. Now, Q2 equal to Q1. So, now we can get the condition of Q2 equal to Q1. So, we can cancel the arrow. COP T2 by T3 minus T2 equal to T1 by T1 minus T3. So, T1 kuduthirukku 600, T2 kuduthirukku 300. So, 300 divided by T3 minus 300 equal to T1, 600 divided by 600 minus T3. In the equation, cross multiply pannni, solve pannam naka, T3 equal to 400 Kelvin. So, T3 equal to T4 equal to 400 Kelvin. Next is the efficiency of the heat engine. Eta equal to T1 minus T3 divided by T1. So, T1 minus T3 divided by T1. So, T1 600 minus 400 divided by 600 equal to 0 0.34, 34 percentage. Then, COP of the refrigerator. So, this is T2 divided by T2 minus T, T4 minus T3. So, T4 equal to 400, T2 equal to 300. COP equal to 300 by 400 minus 300 equal to 3. Now, answer to the question. Temperature T3, the temperature T3 equal to T4 equal to 400 Kelvin, efficiency of the heat engine 34 percent, COP of the refrigerator 3. The next example, example number 14, is on the May, November 2019, May 2016 question paper. A heat engine is operating between two reservoirs at the 1000 Kelvin and 300 Kelvin is used to drive a heat pump which extract heat from a reservoir at 300 Kelvin at a rate twice that at which engine reject to the heat. 
If the efficiency of the heat engine is 40 percentage of the maximum possible and COP of the heat pump is 50 percent of the maximum possible, make a calculation for the temperature of the reservoir to which heat pump reject the heat. Also work out the rate of heat rejection from the heat pump if the rate of heat supplied to the heat engine is 50 kilowatt. So this is the heat engine, heat pump. So the heat engine is taking heat from T1 equal to 1000 Kelvin and reject heat T2 equal to 300 Kelvin. The amount of heat supplied to the heat engine Q1 equal to 50 kilowatt. The heat engine is driving the heat pump. So the heat pump, it is taking heat from T4 which is 300 Kelvin and reject heat to a source to the body at a temperature T3. Q3 is the amount of heat rejection. So this is the diagrammatic representation of the problem. So what is given? Q4 equal to 2 times of Q2. What is Q4? Amount of heat absorbed by the heat pump is equal to 2 times of amount of heat rejected by the heat engine. So amount of heat rejected is Q2. Amount of heat absorbed is Q4. So Q4 equal to 2 times of Q2. Actual efficiency of the heat engine is 40 percentage of the Carnot efficiency. Actual COP of the heat pump is equal to 50 percentage of Carnot COP. These are all the given information. Now, efficiency of the heat engine 1 minus T2 by T1. So, 1 minus 300 by 1000 equal to 0 0.7. Actual efficiency of the heat engine, it is 40 percentage of this value. So, eta A equal to 0 0.4 times of Carnot efficiency, 0 0.4 into 0 0.7 equal to 0 0.28. Work done and heat rejected by the heat engine. So, eta A equal to W by Q1. So, work done W equal to eta A into Q1, which is 0 0.28 into 50 equal to 14 kilowatt. Work done is also equal to Q1 minus Q2. So, Q2 equal to Q1 minus W. 50 minus 14 equal to 36 kilowatts. So, for the heat engine, LMA calculate penalty. Work done equal to 14 kilowatt and the heat rejected equal to 36 kilowatt. So, 14 kilowatt of work is given to the heat pump. Now on the heat pump input. Now the actual COP of the heat pump, I calculate W equal to Q3 minus Q4. So we W equal to Q3 minus 2 times of Q2. So Q4 equal to 2 times of Q2. So this is 14 equal to Q3 minus 2 into 36. So Q3 equal to 86 kilowatt. So rearrangement of Q3 equal to 86 kilowatt. Then COP equal to Q3 by W. So Q3 amount of heat supplied to the source at temperature T3. So 86 divided by 14 equal to 6.14. So COP actual COP of the heat pump equal to 6.14. Carnot COP equal to COP actual divided by 0 0.5 which is 6.14 divided by 0.5 equal to 12.28. Now Temperature of the reservoir to which heat pump reject the heat energy. So T3 can be you know. So COP Carnot COP equal to T3 by T3 minus T4. So 12.28 equal to T3 by T3 minus 300. In the equation solve T3 equal to 326.6 Kelvin. So the temperature here is 326.6 Kelvin. The answer to the problem. The temperature of the reservoir to which heat pump reject the heat energy. T3 equal to 326.6 Kelvin. Rate of heat rejection from the heat pump Q3 equal to 86 kilowatt. So these are all the answers to the problem. Next example, example number 15 from November 2019 question paper. Two Carnot engine work in series. So the heat engine work in series between the source and the sink temperature 550 Kelvin and 350 Kelvin. If both the engine develop equal power, draw the schematic and label them properly and also determine the intermediate temperature. So, the heat engine 1, it is producing work W1. It takes heat energy from T1 equal to 500 Kelvin. Amount of heat supplied Q1. This is heat engine 2. So, amount of heat rejected by the heat engine, first heat engine is Q2 at temperature T2. It is given to the heat engine here. Heat engine 2 is producing work W2 and reject heat Q3 to temperature 350 Kelvin. So, you have to calculate the intermediate temperature. So, W1 equal to W2, that is the condition. W1 equal to W2, what is W1 by W1 equal to W2? W1, work done by the first engine is equal to net heat transfer, Q1 minus Q2. Work done by the second engine is equal to net heat transfer, Q2 minus Q3. So, in the first term, left hand side, 
q2 வெளியே எடுத்தோம்னாக்கா q1 by q2 minus 1 right hand side ல again q2 வெளியே எடுத்தோம்னாக்கா 1 q3 by q2 so q2 q2 cancel ஆச்சுனாக்கா t1 by t2 minus 1 equal to 1 minus t3 by t2 so t1 by t2 plus t3 by t2 equal to 1 550 by t2 plus 350 by t2 equal to 2. In the equation solve pannam naka t2 equal to 450 Kelvin. So the intermediate temperature is 450 Kelvin. The question is intermediate temperature. So the answer intermediate temperature t2 equal to 450 Kelvin. That is the answer to the problem. We stop here. Thank you for watching. Ungul kada doubt to naka in the WhatsApp number message pannanga. I will clarify your doubt. We will meet again in another video lecture for solving problem in the second law of thermodynamics. Until then, bye.